você sabe que os senhores do mundo eles se utilizam do método de reescrever a história. E quanto aos fatos ocorridos em 11 de setembro de 2001, no World Trade Center, o que entrou para os livros e automaticamente para a história é o falso atentado terrorista. Mas alguns professores americanos não estão passando isso na sala de aula para os alunos. Preferem informar a verdade. E um desses professores, chamado Kelvin, ele foi chamado à televisão para dar uma entrevista sobre esse assunto. Você vai assistir agora a essa entrevista e eu quero que você preste atenção no seguinte. O tempo todo, o âncora, o apresentador do programa de jornalismo da televisão, ele tenta interromper o professor, porque o programa está em rede nacional, ao vivo, e o professor falou coisas ali que não era para falar. Coisas que provam realmente que houve um atentado terrorista. E quando o professor começa a colocar essas evidências da realidade, o jornalista se vê louco, interrompendo o tempo todo o professor e tentando ridicularizá-lo. Mas vale a pena a gente assistir juntos essa reportagem e observar como os senhores do mundo, da mídia, da televisão, através do seu órgão de informação, tentam brecar a todo instante, o professor que se nega a ensinar errado aos seus alunos. I was University of Wisconsin professor Kevin Barrett, who has recently drawn criticism for plans to teach an Islamic studies course next fall that will incorporate conspiracy theories that the US government was involved in the events of September 11. Professor Barrett joins us now. Professor, can you give us the context within which you teach this? Well, yeah, sure. I'm teaching an introductory course on Islam, and I think it's really important uh, to cover these contemporary political issues, and one of them is, of course, the so-called war on terror. Now, the fact is that the great majority of the world's Muslims believe that 9-11 was an inside job. Oh, but that's if, your uh, opinion, right? You're, well, you're no, that's the that's your opinion look. that there was an inside job. Uh, well, after studying the evidence pretty intensively for uh, two and a half years, I am convinced that 9-11 was, in fact, an inside job. And are job. students was... required to regurgitate that in, a, in some of way in order to do well in your That's class? That's ridiculous. No, I, I don't, I'm not interested in making students regurgitate anything. All right, Mr. Barrett, Sean Hannity here. Do you really believe that 9-11 uh, was an inside job, not just 9-11, but Madrid and Bali and the Zakawi well, operations? Well, you know, actually... Uh, do, I'm at, hang on a second. Yeah, yeah, Do you okay, believe okay, personally that these are inside jobs, yes or no? Uh, it's not quite that simple. I'm, I do know, I don't believe, I know that 9-11 was an inside job. Professor Stephen Jones okay. has found residue of fermate on the steel samples from what the World Trade Center. We now know that it was taken down in a controlled demolition. All right, so you believe that the buildings came down in a controlled demolition, right? Well, That's... I don't believe it. I've looked at the evidence, know, you're and right, the evidence is overwhelming. All right, the evidence is overwhelming to you because you're sure a conspiracy nut, but, no, you know, actually, all, all of that you, aside... I ask your viewers to take a look at this evidence for themselves. They can go to uh, st911.org. Uh, That's all right, Scholars for 9-11 Truth. Here's... Take a look. Take a look at, the, the, uh, here's... at the demolitions. I know you think Morgan you're the Reynolds, smartest guy Morgan Reynolds, the former the... Bush administration official, says that the Bush administration blew the are... World Trade Center to kingdom come. That's a direct quote right. from a member of the Bush administration itself. They I know. blew the World Trade that Center that to kingdom Jews come. The Jews were told to leave. Well, we've heard a lot of these sick, bizarre theories. That's and not I don't the believe same any thing. of them. But you're allowed that's... to believe what you want. But that's not what's at hand here. The issue well, is, is whether or not science. you, with your bizarre theories, are the best. I think you have the, the bizarre confident. theory. You think it was 19 box guys with box cutters led by a guy in dialysis in a cave in Afghanistan? That's ridiculous. I mean, that's the craziest conspiracy theory of all of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, I wish I had the Twilight Zone music. Now, here's my next question. The issue <laughs> okay, that is at hand here, you're entitled to have your opinion. I don't really care what you believe, but if we're talking about a captive group of students in a classroom, the question we've got to ask... captive. Hang on a second. Well, they're, they're sitting in your classroom, and, and you have a position of authority. I'm, a, I'm wondering, it's what, the question is whether or not you're the most competent to teach them. And most people think you're a nut. Most people think well, you're actually, no, they don't. worth we listening just, to. We just uh, had a poll here in Madison, and we found that 90% of the respondents of Channel 3000 poll uh, said that I should be allowed to teach. Only 10% well, said but I that's shouldn't. The question and 60%, I agree that that's 60%, the question. I don't think what 60 your views are. 60% agreed with me about right. the questions I'm raising about 9-11. No, no. 60% of the respondents. I, I think uh, you're you in the minority. Right speak. I don't think this is the proper forum, though, for people that hold extremist views like yourself. Reasonable no, you guys are extremists. Fox News is the biggest bunch of extremists on the planet. 
reasonable people see you as an extremist, and I don't think you're the most appropriate guy to teach that class. My, my guess well, I don't is think you're the most appropriate guy to be on the airwaves spewing you. your venom That's my uh, throughout this country. Uh, I think you guys should be taken off the airwaves oh, because you, you want to silence the conservative. Uh, we don't want to silence anybody. For, uh, you teach, we'll do anything. Thank you, Professor. Coming up.